Hello friends, in this video we will perform various tests for carbonyl functional group that is aldehydes and ketones. Aldehydes and ketones are organic compounds with the C double bond O carbonyl functional group and when one of the bond with the carbonyl carbon is hydrogen it is an aldehyde. When both the bonds with the carbonyl carbon is an R group that is a ketone. R group can be aliphatic and aromatic. Aldehydes and ketones can be found in various forms in nature like cinnamaldehyde in the bark of cinnamon tree, vanillin in vanilla and even acetone being used as a nail polish remover. The various tests for aldehydes and ketones are the 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine test which is a general test for aldehydes and ketones. Iodoform test is not specific to aldehydes and ketones but most ketones with a CH3 group attached to the carbonyl carbon like acetone and methyl ethyl ketone gives positive result. Acetaldehyde is the only aldehyde giving positive iodoform test. Secondary alcohols also give positive result. Specific tests for aldehydes are the Tollens test, Skiff test, Chromic Acid test and the Fellings test. The tests for ketones are the Sodium Bisulfide test, Metadinitrobenzene test and Sodium Nitroprusside test. Let us begin with the 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine test. This is a general test given by both aldehydes and ketones. Here I have an aldehyde and a ketone sample in two test tubes. Into the sample, I add about 1 to 2 milliliters of 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine reagent solution. Immediately on adding the reagent, you see a yellow colored precipitate that has formed. You have a similar result when you add the reagent to the ketone solution. In the second reaction, we got an orange colored precipitate. Orange precipitate is obtained from carbonyl compounds in which C double bond O group is conjugated with a C double bond C. This test is also called Brady's test and the Brady's reagent is the 2,4 DNP solution made by dissolving the solid in concentrated sulfuric acid and adding ethanol. So what happened here is 2,4 dinitrophenylhydrazine is getting converted to dinitrophenylhydrazone. As the precipitate looked beautiful, I decided to make more of it by adding the reagent to aldehyde and ketone solutions in the conical flask. Meanwhile, I will give you some tips on the reaction that you should be careful about. Some aliphatic ketones may not give a precipitate with 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazone. In such case, reverse addition that is addition of the solution of the carbonyl compound to the 2,4-DNP reagent gives better result. It is actually advisable to do a blank test which I did not do in this case. It is purely the 2,4-DNP reagent alone without the carbonyl compound. Some amines like aniline may give a precipitate of the salt of amine with acid used in the preparation of 2,4-DNP reagent. However, this precipitate is soluble in water. Another thing is sometimes 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine itself can precipitate out as an orange solid which is soluble in dilute sulfuric acid where 2,4-DNP hydrazone is not soluble in acid. Iodoform test, also known as hypoiodide test. This test is a special test given by carbonyl compounds containing an alpha hydrogen. First of all, take 1 to 2 ml of the organic compound in a test tube. We then add an equal amount of 3 molar sodium hydroxide solution. After adding the sodium hydroxide solution, mix it well. And then we start adding the iodine solution with the help of a dropper. This solution was prepared by dissolving around 12.7 grams of elemental iodine in a saturated solution of potassium iodide containing 25 grams of it. Distilled water was then added to make the stock solution. Continue adding the iodine solution to the mixture until we attain a point where the dark color of the iodine persists in the solution even after mixing. When we have attained that point, we will then keep the test tube in boiling water bath for 1 to 2 minutes. A yellow precipitate of iodoform is formed. 
This indicates the presence of CH3C double bond O group in the compound. It's given by acetaldehyde, methyl ethyl ketone, acetone and some alcohols like isopropyl alcohol and ethyl alcohol. Tollens test. This is a specific test for aldehyde. First of all, let us make the Tollens reagent. For that, we need a solution of silver nitrate. Take about 3 ml of silver nitrate solution which has a concentration of 0.1 normality in a test tube. Then we add 3 molar sodium hydroxide solution to the silver nitrate. On adding the sodium hydroxide, a black to brown colored precipitate of silver oxide is immediately formed in the test tube. Now we take the ammonia solution and start adding it to the precipitate of silver oxide. You see that the precipitate starts to dissolve and the solution becomes clear. What's happening here is silver oxide is forming a complex with ammonia. This is the Tollens reagent. Tollens reagent have to be prepared freshly each time for use as it is not stable for long time storage. Now for the test, we take 1 to 2 ml of the freshly prepared Tollens reagent in a test tube. Then we add the organic compound into the test tube. The organic compound here is an aldehyde. When we add it, we get a grey to black colored precipitate. Then we keep the test tube in hot boiling water bath for 3 to 4 minutes. Appearance of a silver mirror can be seen. What's happening here is aldehydes are oxidized to their corresponding carboxylic acids while the silver oxide is getting reduced from plus 1 to elemental form. I just did it again by scaling the reaction a little bit and I was able to get a nice silver mirror and I took a picture of it. Skiff test. It is also a specific test for aldehydes. Skiff reagent is an aqueous solution of pararosanilin hydrochloride dye which is decolorized by adding sodium sulfite. The pararosanilin reacts with bisulfite to form decolorized adduct. When Skiff reagent is added to the organic compound, a pink color is obtained. When aldehyde groups react with the amine group of the dye, it forms aldemine group. The aldemine group is an excellent electrophile and it undergoes further reaction with the bisulfite ion forming a purple colored bisulfite adduct. This is the reaction. You can actually see three aldehyde groups react with the three sulfonated amine groups to form the adduct. Chromic acid test. This is another test specific to aldehydes. Chromic acid reagent was prepared by adding about 2 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid to 0.5 grams of potassium dichromate. The resultant solution will be deep red in color. Now let us do the test. Few amount of chromic acid reagent was taken with a glass dropper and was transferred to a test tube containing the organic compound. Appearance of a green color is observed. What's happening here is chromic acid being a powerful oxidizing agent oxidizes the aldehyde to the carboxylic acid and in turn reduces to chromium 3 plus which reacts with the sulfate ion to form chromium 3 sulfate which is the green color. Now for the Fellings test which is specific for aldehyde. I have a separate video on preparation of the Fellings reagent. I will put a link to that in the description. Fellings reagent have to be prepared fresh before its use. For that, equal volume of Fellings A solution that is dilute copper 2 sulfate solution and Fellings B solution is to be poured together. Fellings B to solution is a alkaline solution of sodium potassium tartrate. On mixing these two compounds, a deep blue colored solution is formed which is the bis tartrate complex of copper 2 plus and this is our Fellings reagent. Now for the test, the organic compound is added into the prepared Fellings reagent and after adding, we keep it in a hot water bath for few minutes.
after some time we observe this orange to red colored precipitate that is formed what's happening here is the bistartrate of copper complex is an oxidizing agent which oxidizes the aldehyde to the carboxylic acid and in turn gets reduced to form the copper 2 oxide sodium bisulfite test for this test we need a saturated solution of sodium bisulfite into that we add the organic compound on adding that it forms a crystalline product which is a bisulfite addict and the reaction is shown above meta dinitrobenzene test this test is specific for ketones in this test, I use the meta dinitrobenzene, that is 1,3-dinitrobenzene. I have a video for this synthesis of this compound. I will put a link to that in the description. Start by adding the solid meta dinitrobenzene to the organic compound. Then we add few milliliters of the 3 molar sodium hydroxide solution into that. This makes the solution alkaline. Immediately, you see a purple color forming. What is happening here is called the Janowski reaction where the 1,3-dinitrobenzene reacts with the ketone group containing an alpha methyl group to form the Meissenheimer complex. The same test was repeated with methyl ethyl ketone and as we know that methyl ethyl ketone is insoluble with water, this purple color was observed at the junction between the two layers. The last test is the sodium nitroprusside test which is also a specific test for ketone. For this test, we take a few milliliters of the sodium nitroprusside solution in a test tube. Then we add the organic compound into it. After that, we add few milliliters of the 3 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Immediately you observe the formation of a deep red color. What's happening here is in the presence of alkali, ketones react with nitroprusside to form blood red colored complex. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. Also, if you want to join my discord server, I will put a link to that in the description.